Today is June 20th. On the 20th of June, 1975, one of Steven Spielberg's masterpieces, Jaws, was released in the United States. Jaws would go on to become the highest grossing film of that time and would start a certain trend of films. What is that trend of films known as? Follow the link in the description of this video to submit your answers and win an amazing prize. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Smarter by the Second. Today I'm joined by Lars. Hi. Hello Lars, welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm uh, doing fine, thank you. Yes, nervous. A little bit, uh, but healthy nervous. But, oh, but confident. About confidence, yes. Okay, Lars, uh, tell us something about yourself. Well, uh, I'm a fourth year student, uh, still doing my bachelor, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, also uh, boxing, uh, break dancing, nice. and uh, I'm uh, working uh, at uh, Belgium, that's a uh, famous cafe. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I know it. Nice. Uh, cafe, yes. As a bartender? Uh, as a bartender, as a runner, uh, all, ah, all okay. kind of things. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you're into boxing and break dancing? Yes. Why, uh, uh, you didn't choose uh, sports? Uh, why not? Uh, well, because uh, the other sports, I am ah, okay. horrible at uh, remembering names, oh, even for boxers. Yeah, so, even for yeah. Okay. It's just I like doing them, but not yes. watching them, you know. And the history, are you more into history? Um, well, yes, fun? some some periods uh, I really like. and uh, some What's your kind of favorite things. period? Uh, I would say uh, my favorite period would be the, the Roman, uh, okay, Roman Empire. Okay, okay. Those so times. Like, yeah, yeah the em with the emperors. Uh, yes. Like even yeah. the crazy ones, so the, the one that, that had the horse in it, his... Uh, it's, it's funny to read uh, <laughs> about them, yeah. Ligula, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, nice. Okay. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Jack the Ripper was an unidentified serial killer active in the East End of London. He was active in 1888, possibly even longer, and he killed at least five people. Instead of historical murderers, this round is about historical murders. So here we have nine historical murders, and I will give you a description mm. and the year when the murder or well, the murder was uh, attempted or uh, committed because it was uh, successful all right uh so julius caesar you will have to know that because uh, yeah it's a roman uh, the... roman emperor okay yeah. are you feeling confident about this round uh there are some names i'm not quite familiar with but we'll see i don't remember you uh, need five correct answers and you have three lifelines but yeah. they, they cost 16 seconds each uh, yeah so um, Okay, so the nine murders are the murder on John F. Kennedy, Franz Ferdinand, Julius Caesar, Grigori Rasputin, Marie Antoinette, Martin Luther King Jr., William the Silent, Anne Boleyn, and Abraham Lincoln. So start the round. Let's go. Okay. This murder was executed in 1536, and she was the second wife of Henry VIII. Marie Antoinette. Um, he was assassinated in 1968. He was an American Baptist minister and an activist, prominent figure in the civil rights movement. This would be Martin Luther King Jr. Assassinated in 1914, he was the Archduke of Austria. Franz Ferdinand. Assassinated in 1584, he was the leader of the Dutch Revolt, also known as the Prince of William Orange. the Silent. Assassinated in 1963, he served during the Cold War. Uh, Gregory Rasputin. Assassinated in 1865, he led the nation through the American Civil War. John F. Kennedy. Executed in 1793, she was born in Vienna and died in Paris. Anne Boleyn. Assassinated in 44 BC, he was a consul and a dictator. Uh, Julius Caesar, other Abraham Lincoln, changed uh, Anna Boleyn and Marie Antoinette. Stop oh, okay. oh no, there's one more. Oh, what? Murdered no, no. in 1916, he had a lot of influence on the Russian royal family as a perceived healer. Uh, shit. Uh, yeah, I already said stop the time, I think. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was a bit messy. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. No worries. Um, yeah, I, uh, them, yeah. Hearing the last answer, I uh, think I got at least uh, two wrong. But uh, yeah, you have three lifelines. You need only need five correct. You need you five correct. Um, mm, could you, could you just one, could you I think I have five correct. I'm okay. quite confident. Uh, maybe uh, one lifeline for one lifeline. I yeah. can arrange that. Then uh, here are the answers. So the first one, executed in 1536, she was the second wife of Henry VIII, that was Anne Boleyn. Um, assassinated in 1968, he was an American Baptist minister and activist, prominent figure in the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King Jr. So that one is also correct. Assassinated in 1914, he was the Archduke of Austria. This is Franz Ferdinand. Correct. Assassinated in 1584, he was the leader of the Dutch Revolt, also known as the Prince of Orange. This is uh, William the Silent. That is correct. Assassinated in 1963, he served during the Cold War. That's John F. Kennedy. Ah, that's John F. Kennedy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, you had your lifeline, so it's fine. You have five correct now. At least, okay. Assassinated in 1865, he led the nation through the American Civil War. This was Abraham Lincoln. Uh, oh, I was incorrect. Um, executed in 1793, she was born in Vienna and died in Paris. Marie Antoinette. And that one was correct. Assassinated in 44 before Christ, he was a consul and a dictator. Julius Caesar. You had that one correct. Yeah. <laughs> And murdered in 1916, he had a lot of influence on the Russian royal family as a perceived healer. That's uh, Rasputin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, ah, you had a six correct. It's pretty nice. Yeah, one to spare, but uh, didn't I didn't, I didn't want to be out in the first round. So uh, I, yeah. I understand that, yeah. <laughs> but ah, uh, nonetheless, you did well. Can be yes. proud there. Uh, you made the Thank first round. <laughs> yes. One of the most important gods of the Greek pantheon is Hades, god of the dead, who also gives name to his kingdom, the Hades, where souls end up after their demise. Peculiar to Hades is that, in recent literature and films, he is almost always portrayed as an evil and ruthless god, while his brothers are portrayed as heroes and gentle souls. This could, though, not be further away from the truth, as Hades is, in fact, one of the most reliable and trustworthy gods of the Greek pantheon. And he is one of the few who stays loyal to their lover and does not take unnecessary vengeance on humans. Poor Hades uh, got the short end of the stick in almost every way. Here are nine Greek gods who are remembered unlike him for their qualities rather than their flaws. Yeah, so, yeah. True, true, true. Yeah. I, do you agree with that? that uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've read some literature about the Greek gods. Uh, oh, so. yeah, Percy Jackson. Uh, no, no. Oh, one. I love Percy Jackson. You love it? Uh, uh, I read uh, and the Heroes of Olympus, I read all of it. Ah, okay. So I know uh, all of them. Yeah. Did you have uh, Greek in school? Uh, no, Latin? actually, uh, I, I wanted to, but my grades were not enough in the first ah, grade. So. Shame. Yeah. Ah, okay. So um, I will, you will see the names of the gods and I will give a description. All right. So the gods are Athena, Ares, Aphrodite, Poseidon, Dionysus, Hera, Demeter, Zeus and Apollo. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Then this is the goddess of beauty, love, desire and pleasure. Aphrodite. She is the god of wine, fruitfulness, parties. Dionysus. God of courage, war, bloodshed and violence, the son of Zeus and Hera. Uh, Ares. Goddess of women, marriage and childbirth, daughter of Cronus. Hera. And, okay. Goddess of agriculture and nourishment, daughter of Cronus and Rhea again. Athena. Goddess of wisdom, intelligence, skill, peace and warfare. She was born from Zeus's forehead. Uh, this is Athena, the other one on Demeter. Okay. God of the sky, thunder, and justice, youngest son. God of the sea, rivers, and... Poseidon, other one, Apollo, yeah. sometime. <laughs> do I uh, hear confidence? Quite confident, yes. Ah, okay. I have to, how many uh, do I have to get correct? Uh, six this round. Six. Yeah, I'm quite so, confident. I yeah, no six. lifelines? 
No, no. no okay. I'm uh, putting nice. mistakes on okay, it. Okay, I like uh, I like it. Okay, then we'll check the answers. So, the first one, the goddess of beauty, love, desire and pleasure, born from sea foam and the severed genitals of Uranus. This is Aphrodite. So, I was correct. The god of wine, fruitfulness, parties, chaos, ecstasy and theater. He is the son of Zeus and Semele. That is Dionysus. Um, the god of courage, war, bloodshed and violence. The son of Zeus and Hera. That's Ares. Then we have the goddess of women, marriage and childbirth. The daughter of Kronos and Rhea. That's Hera. Then we have the goddess of agriculture and nourishment. Also daughter of Kronos and Rhea. That's Demeter. The goddess of wisdom, intelligence, skill, peace and warfare. She was born from Zeus's forehead, fully formed and armored. That's Athena. That means you have six correct answers already. Great. Nice. God of the sky, thunder and justice, youngest son of Kronos and Rhea. That's Zeus. God of the sea, rivers and earthquakes, son of Kronos and Rhea. That's Poseidon, his brother. God of arts, knowledge Healing and archery, son of Zeus and Leto. That's Apollo, one of Great. the twins. Yeah. Okay, nice. You have nine correct answers. That yes. means that you get an extra lifeline. Always so, good to have. Uh, congratulations on that. Thank you. In total, there are 65 countries celebrating their independence from the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom, however, celebrates their independence to no one in return. In this round, nine countries and from whom they celebrate their independence. So on the screen you see uh, nine countries mm -hmm. and then I will say who they uh, celebrate their independence from and when. So uh, it's also a bit of geography, this question. Yeah. Are you comfortable with that? Um, well, we'll see. It depends on uh, the countries. Uh. Okay, yeah. So the countries are Iceland, Belgium, Switzerland, Norway, Russia, Slovenia, Bulgaria, Portugal and Denmark. Are you ready? Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you need uh, seven correct answers for this one. Seven correct. All right. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll start. This country celebrates their independence from Yugoslavia since December 26, 1991. This would be Slovenia. Uh, this country celebrates their independence from the Ottoman Empire on September 22nd since 1908. Bulgaria. This country celebrates their independence from Denmark on June 17th from 1944. Iceland. This country celebrates their independence from the United Netherlands on July 21st. Belgium. This country celebrates their independence from the Spanish Empire on December 1st since 1640. Portugal. This country celebrates their independence from Sweden on June 7th since 1905. Norway. This country celebrates their independence from the Soviet Union on Russia. July on June. This country celebrates their independence from Germany on June 5th, 1849. Denmark. And then finally, this country celebrates their independence from the Holy Roman Empire on August 1st. Switzerland. Stop. Okay. How sure are you about this round? Um, logically, I would say... I have them correct, but it's really, so some countries are a bit iffy. Oh, yeah. Um, you need seven correct. Seven correct, right. Um, do you feel like you could have nine correct as well? Could be, could that be possible? Might have. Okay, um, okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think I will uh, do one lifeline. One lifeline. Okay, then we'll look at the answers. So, this country celebrates their independence from Yugoslavia on December 26 from 1991. This is Slovenia. This country celebrates their independence from the Ottoman Empire on September 22, 1908. This is Bulgaria. 
This country celebrates her independence from Denmark on June 17, 1944. This is Iceland. This country celebrates her independence from the United Netherlands on July 21st, 1831. That's Belgium. It celebrates her independence from the Spanish Empire on December 1st, 1640. That's Portugal. Then this country celebrates her independence from Sweden on June 7th since 1905. That's Norway. This country celebrates her independence from the Soviet Union on, July, on June 12th, 1992. That's Russia. And that means that you passed. Nice. So you have seven correct. Then the last two. The country that celebrates her independence from Germany on June 5th, 1849 is Denmark. And then finally, the country that celebrates her independence from the Holy Roman Empire on August 1st, 1291 is Switzerland. All right. So no lifelines needed, but uh, you get it back. Yeah, that's good. You don't get the seconds back, the 16 seconds, but yeah, that's uh, not too bad. You have 78 seconds left, I yes, see. Yes, There is a uh, fourth round. Yeah. It's uh, all or nothing. Ooh. Do you want to play it? So one more lifeline costs 16 seconds. Yeah, right? so... Uh, would need three, 48, 48 yeah. seconds for all of them. That's the speed run. That's the speed run. I'm gonna go for it. It's, I have You're to. gonna go I have for to. it? Yeah. I uh, admire the courage. I really Thank do, you. I really do. The Nobel Peace Prize is presented annually on the 10th of December, the anniversary of Alfred Nobel's death. Unlike the other prize, it is awarded in Oslo, not in Stockholm, and also unlike the other Nobel Prizes, it can be awarded to organizations instead of single persons. In this round, nine people who have won the Nobel Peace Prize. So, um, you get... Uh, the names of the winners, uh -huh. and then you um, then you see a picture, and I uh, give a description on why they won the Nobel Peace Prize, and you have to guess which which person it is. Yeah. Okay. Do you recognize these names? Are you probably Some. vaguely? Some of them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite familiar with. Uh, you have three uh, lifelines. And, um, I'm gonna can, try my best. I remember you can always, if you don't know one, you can skip because you're a bit short on time. Yeah. I will just skip and later fill them in and use your lifelines if you're not sure. Yeah. Okay, right, but um, now first uh, the names. So we have the people that won the Nobel Peace Prize are Desmond Tutu, Nelson Mandela, Al Gore, Martin, Martin Luther King Jr., Mikhail Gorbachev, Theodore Roosevelt, Barack Obama, Mother Teresa, and Tenzin Gyatso. Okay, well, let's uh, play the final round. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, for bringing the war between Japan and Russia to an end in 19... Theodore Roosevelt. For her work for bringing help to suffering... Mother Teresa. Men. For his role as a unifying leader in the non-violent campaign to solve, resolve... Nelson the Mandela. For advocating peaceful solutions based upon... Tenzin Gyatso for the leading role he played in the radical changes in East-West relations. Um, skip. skip. Um, for their work for the peaceful termination of the apartheid regime and for laying the foundations. This is Nelson Mandela, the other one is Martin Luther King Jr. For their efforts to build up and disseminate greater knowledge about man-made climate change and to lay foundations. That's for his non-violent struggle for civil rights, for the Afro-American... This is Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. This is Desmond Tutu. For his extraordinary efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and... Barack hope. Obama? Stop the time, or do you want to... Uh, let's see, Al Gore is... Uh, oh, shit, uh, the one with the... Yeah. You have to, you're yeah. not... No, just fill them in. Just fill them in, yeah. Uh, shit, stop time. Nah. This is uh, not going to be enough, I'm afraid. No, you can always hope that uh, maybe they fill them in in the right place. Uh, maybe you were lucky. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I kind of mixed up uh, some people. I didn't but, uh, recognize. You, uh, yeah, you switched around, but it may, might yeah. be correct. I hope so, I hope yes, so. Yes, let's, I kinda, uh, let's yeah. hope. Okay, so the answers are for bringing the war between Japan and Russia to an end in, 16, in 1906 is Theodore Roosevelt. 
and is correct for her work for bringing help to suffering humanity as Mother Teresa. For his role as a unifying leader in the non-violent campaign to resolve the problem of apartheid in South Africa is Desmond Tutu. So you switch that around correctly? Yeah, luckily. Uh, yeah. For advocating peaceful solutions based upon tolerance and mutual respect in order to preserve the historical and cultural her heritage of his people in 1989 is Tenzin Gyatso. For the leading role he played in the radical changes in East-West relations in 1990 is Mikhail Gorbachev. And they are of that correct? Nice. For their work for the peaceful termination of the apartheid regime and for laying the foundations for a new democratic South Africa in 1993 is Nelson Mandela. For their efforts to build up and disseminate greater knowledge about man-made climate change and to lay the foundations for the measures that are needed to counteract such change is Al Gore. Um, for his non-violent struggle for civil rights for the Afro-American population in 1964 is Martin Luther King Jr. And that is correct, so the last one is also correct. For its extraordinary efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and cooperation between people in 2009 is Barack Obama. Congratulations! Thank you. Uh, yeah, I had luck with how oh. those last two were filled in. That was, uh, that was a sweat, yeah. That was tense at the end. It was, uh, you yeah. But you didn't even need your lifeline. I didn't nine even... out of nine correct. Oh, Congratulations. Luckily. Thank and, you. Uh, you will get a prize for that, but in the meantime, well, thank you for your participation. Oh, great. I need this. <laughs> clock. Yeah, uh, you can't drink it here. Uh, you have to take no. it outside. Yes, uh, <laughs> I will. I will. Okay. The answer to today's viewer question was summer blockbusters. Thank you all for watching.